So I have some very fun plans to do today. We are going to continue cleaning because it is going to be our third year hosting Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna put away all the fall decor and bring out the Christmas decor, which is so exciting. It's messy again. I have groceries to put away. I have some dishes over there. So I think this year we're gonna go with a fake tree. We're not gonna be doing the real one, which is a little sad, but it's okay. But only because we have carpet in our living room and you know, all the pines from the tree, the pine straws, the needles, I don't know. All the, the tree, <laughs> I don't even know how to call it. Wait, I'm struggling. I guess like the pines from the tree, come down and it was so hard to get out of the carpet last year. So we're just gonna invest in a fake tree and just reuse it every year, you know? Whoa, excuse me, that was so rude of me. The groceries are put up. So now what I usually do I'm gonna put all the fall stuff on here. I love fall decor, but are you ever like towards the end just over it and you just want your Christmas stuff out? Same. Whoa. I love you. I'll see you next year. Just like little touches of orange that I put. So this pillow got to go. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. As you can see, I already did some Christmas shopping, but We'll show that later. I love you. I will see you next year, Orange. Oh, my, what's this called? Garland, my chimney garland. Okay, I'm just gonna come over here and take this one. I have Christmas wreaths. I kind of want like little fake Christmas trees, like two small ones in the front. My phone is like going off, popping off. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Hey, off. I think I did not try to come up here. That was bad. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But my dear, it's so delightful. Ugh. I am Wonder Woman right now. Maybe one more. One more. One more. One more. Yes. Yes. Christmas vibes, hello. Um, I don't think I will be keeping these two right there. Like wicker basket and put some logs in there. That way whenever we turn on the chimney, the logs are right there, but I think it looks pretty good. That is that, very simple, minimal. Can't wait to light this one up. It's going to look awesome. Now moving on to the other living room. So we actually have a plug-in outside in our front porch and all this time, like literally for the whole year we have been living here, I had no idea it worked. So I found these lights and I'm gonna put them up around the garland that I have outside. So this is a garland I got going on. I have these fairy lights on them. As you can tell, they're not so bright and I have these wreaths, so pretty. And the plug-in is right there. So I'm gonna put up these Christmas lights and it's gonna look so pretty. I still need to get something for here because I still have my mom's. So I need to get like fake Chris little Christmas trees or something and put them right there. I don't know if poinsettias will work out here because it's gonna be cold, but we'll see, right? I'm all finished and it looks so good. Oh 
Wow, that looks so much better. Let me get further back. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Stop it. That is so cute. I'm going to add the other fairy lights to these poles right here. It's going to look super cute. I still need a doormat. It is just not the cutest thing. And again, just like... That is literally my dream come true. With those beautiful doors. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Max. She has a little bit of ornaments on. Just wanted to keep it very, very minor decor on there. Just because, you know. She's pretty. I love the black door. I also painted this door black. Hi, she looks cute. She needs another coat. And she'll be finished. But love i'm literally considering painting all the doors down here black so maybe paint this one black don't know if don't know if that one for sure will be black it might stay white but i for sure want to do something cool with my pantry door and maybe paint the restroom door black so now that we're talking about painting stuff black i'm definitely going to paint this wall black and then i'm also considering <laughs> you guys i'm going crazy today well, <laughs> what did I say? You guys, I'm going crazy with the black paint. But getting to the main event, the Christmas tree, shall we? She's so cute. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh, isn't she beautiful? So we decided to paint the wall black. Well, Britsy did because I was a little busy, so I did not have a chance to help too much. But I did. Yeah, you I did. did. I did a little bit. <laughs> I taped the stairs a little. Yeah. So it's all about the details. I don't like. You didn't like how I did it? No, I don't like to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was about to say. <laughs> but you guys ready to see the final touch because it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Turn with me. Turn with me. It looks beautiful. It looks <laughs> great. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love, como he says, love, love, love. Love, love, love. What do y'all think about it? I think it looks great. What do you think, Britt? I'm obsessed. Look at the view. Yeah, it goes all the way up there. Didn't show this part. She's a beauty. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. He's a beaut. Before we close out this video, we want to end it with some encouragement because it is Christmas today and it does not feel like Christmas. And to be honest, it's been a very, very hard week for us. Mm -hmm. And it's been super difficult to want to even celebrate Christmas because at one point, you know, Abel was the purpose to celebrate Christmas. Two years ago, we celebrated it in the hospital. Yeah. His first, his, we only spent one year at home, home with him, right? I think it was his first Christmas. Yeah, his first Christmas was at home. Mm -hmm. But the rest were in the hospital. You know, today, I don't. I don't feel happy. I feel sad. I feel angry. I feel confused. Wow. I feel let down. I feel, I just feel hurt. I feel like, you know, it's hard to celebrate and feel joyful when, mm -hmm. you know, Abel's not here. So, I mean, it's Christmas Day. We're not even, we don't even have gifts in the Christmas tree. Like... It just doesn't feel Christmas spirity. Yeah, like we tried. I hope, you know, the decoration was all right. I think Brincy <laughs> killed it. Um, yeah. But we're really not in the Christmas spirit. Like, but like in here, it feels empty. Yes. You know? It feels super, super empty. And it, it just, I almost don't want to do anything. I don't want to be around anybody. And I know that's grief. Grief yeah. will literally put you in a dark place. Your back is literally against the wall. And when you lose that special someone, your whole dynamic just changes. You're, you're just a whole different person. Your days are not the same. So with Christmas, with the holidays, it just makes it even bigger, even more sensitive and it more like heightens everything. Yes. Because you get, you know, get on Instagram, check the stories, you know, it's, it's easy to get caught up in people's highlight reels and mm -hmm. ourselves. We put highlight, we all do it. We all put highlight reels on social media. So when you're grieving and you're, you know, hurting during the holidays, it's difficult to genuinely feel happy for others because you don't feel happiness inside. But not like in a jealousy way. I'm saying in a like- You're hurt. You're hurt. It's like, man, I want that. Losing your only gift or what's your whole gift, mm -hmm. when you lose that, 
Those gifts on that Christmas tree mean nothing when you lose the most valuable gift right. in life. So right. what are you learning today, this Christmas? Mm -hmm. Well, what I'm learning is that there is still hope and sadness. There is still hope and heartbreak. There is still hope and grief. And there is always light, even in darkness. So sometimes I don't see that all the way. It sounds like kind of happy-go-lucky and surface level, but I just... I'm trying to believe that today, that it's not always going to be like this, that good things will still come. We're not doing at our best, and that's completely fine, and it's okay, because I know tomorrow I decide, you know, the beauty of this journey is that happiness is around the corner, and it's not, it's not always going to be sad days. It still feels lonely. Yes. Even though you know there is people, we have so many people that love us and it sometimes still bothers me when people say merry christmas and i'm trying to be okay with that but at the end of the day it's okay if you're not okay with hearing merry christmas when a you just lost someone this year last month two months ago two years ago ten years ago and it still doesn't feel merry to you mm -hmm. you don't feel happy um so i would just tell you i wish you and I pray for a Christmas full of peace. That's really all we can ask God for in these times. It's just peace because sometimes it is really hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but peace, peace, peace. Peace, love, and just God's presence to embrace you today. I know how hard it is and it's going to be okay. We're on this road together and we know what that void feels like and like the depths of your soul is not even in your body. It's like so deep within it's really no words to describe the emptiness and the heartbreak but we understand you it's totally normal what you feel you're not going crazy it's going to be okay <laughs>